Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be recreating a do-it-yourself nail rack from Dulce Candy 87's Nail Polish Rack Tutorial. I went to Home Depot to collect all of the supplies. I purchased a 2 foot by 3 foot backboard, 2 2 and a half inch by 3 foot sideboards, and 10 2 and a half inch by 2 feet boards for the shelves. As you can see here, the first step was pretty simple. I took a hot glue gun and glued down these sideboards to the backboard. I pushed down on them very firmly to make sure that they were secure. And then I flipped the backboard over and took some nails and hammered the nails into the sideboards to make sure they would definitely stay. Now there was probably an easier way to do this step, but the shelving boards were too long to fit in between the sideboards. So what I did was I took a handheld saw and chopped off about an inch and a half from all of the sideboards to make sure they fit. I didn't have access to an electric saw, but I'm sure that would have made it a lot easier. This took a lot of time and effort, as you can see, but after that all of the shelves fit perfectly. So I went back in with my hot glue gun and secured the bottoms and sides of all of the shelves. While doing this, make sure that you take extreme caution because as I was pressing down these boards, I burnt my hand and it kind of blistered up after that. So please make sure you are careful. After all of these shelves were in and secure, I took some Gorilla Glue and I added this along the sides and bottom and tops of all of the shelves. I do suggest using the Gorilla Glue because it does hold up very securely, but be careful with how much you put on because the glue does expand three to four times its size. So it could create bubbles like this. Last step was to take the shelving unit outside and to use some ultra gloss spray paint to paint it white. I ended up having to use two cans of spray paint and having to go run out to the store to buy more, so make sure you purchase enough before you start your project. The spray paint did not take long to dry at all, and then it was ready to bring inside to display all of my polishes. Well, not all, but most. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to add me on Facebook and Twitter. See you next time.